Revelio. 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 Awful when they ask you a question now, isn't it? Crummy little faces. I'll just die. If someone gets struck by a Do hope it's you. If Hogwarts survives the reign of this empire. Revelio. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here 
including seeds, potion recipes and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's Potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Revelio. There you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the Mending Charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. This is the right area. I wonder where the blind page is. Accio! Got it. Levioso!
Revelio. 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 A flying page must be around here somewhere. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high, got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Accio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. 
Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repair. Nicely done! Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Revelio. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio! What are you up to now? Revelio! Accio!
Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Rebellion.
Travel broadens the mind. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Vented flu powder. Revelio. Honestly, the way some of them slither in, it's embarrassing. Even he seems irritated by it. Then again, what isn't he irritated by? Since when should it matter what anyone Do you think I have a big forehead? Akio! That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Revelio! I was a late bloomer. My parents thought I was going to...
Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. 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 I 
I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Looking for me? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. 
I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. From the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Oh. Mm -hmm. Once they already named them too. France Hoof and Sugarfoot. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off-limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off-limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls.
how are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to this. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I feel not in Poland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you <gasps> met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dougley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I wish that I had never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey I should Dukes. imagine should always have room for I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Rebellion.
Revelio. Accurate. Rebellion. 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 Accio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Revelio. Lumos. Can you believe some people struggle with simple levitation? I could probably do this one. Lumos. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory.
Let's look at what we have, shall we? Lumos. Lumos. in theory to be so strong with how emaciated they look. Revelio. Accio.
what I can't think. Revelio. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um... Ah, yes, yes, hmm, powerful core, ten and a half inches, hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Goodness! Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing.
curious indeed. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> Ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Seem like harmless fun, but not when you've just had your hair done like a lion. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Revelio. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake. They are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today.
Revelio. I wish I paid more attention. Rebellion. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Rebellion. 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 Kingist of Woodcroft.
Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos.
Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Revelio. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Revelio. A 
nice to see you, my young friend. Very rude to mention. Very Rebellion. 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 Rebellion.
Accio. Revelio. Accio. I told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Brood and Peck said a customer lost a Diracle around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... You could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Ugh. Instead, I just wasted our time. There you are! Ha! Huh. Finally! I'll have enough for that wind whip. Revelio. Well, not meant to be. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. You think you Revelio. 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 Revelio.
Revelio.